Giants game pumped up for the D-backs with help from a commercial that's flat out hilarious. Extra bases. <laughs> Did you say extra bases? We'll show you extra bases. Jose Cruz Jr. does something with those extra bases. That's on live Steve Kinley. You'll see it, Steve. Be patient. Cruz ends up at third. It's 2 nothing Giants. He was one for three. Did you say you want to see more of that commercial? Give it to me. All right. Send the runners. I deliver. So does Nephi Perez. Two for five with that triple. And he sends himself all the way to third. How about that for sending the runners? He could run a little bit, too. Old school. Kick it. You want old school? You got it. Barry Bonds at the plate. Old school. That one is gone. That one might end up in another state. Wow! <laughs> Go Giants! <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Man, Why all over, Ben? Ray Durham oh. back in, quick to Paris, the throw to first, not in time to get over Bay. And what do you say? <laughs> Go Giants! I thought so. Steven Randolph on the mound. Randolph, the four-pitch walk to Bonds to low the bases. Bob Brenly out to the mound. He gets tossed by the umpire. Then tosses the ball into the stands. He wants to look at that commercial one more time. Ding, 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 one, ding, 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 ding. Of course he wanted to see that. You know, I wonder what happened to P. Diddy. Exactly. 10-7 Giants victory. Barry Bonds home run number 29. Bonds now has homers in his last four games. He's got seven homers and 28 at-bats so far this month, or one homer in every four at-bats. So that's twice as fast as he hit home runs in the month of June. Dodgers opening a three-game series at Coors. Here's Todd Helton career versus Hideo Nomo. 286 average, 357 slugging, 333 on base. Four hits in his previous 14 at-bats. Bottom three, Helton. Oh, takes Nomo into the bullpen, his 18th home run of the year, and it is 5-1 Rockies. Bottom five, Helton again owns Nomo. Owns second of the game, 6-4 Colorado. Helton's 19th of the season, his 23rd career multi-home run game. Dodgers down 6-5 in the seventh. Wilkin Rowan down to Helton, who boots it and then throws it off Rowan's helmet. That allows the tying run to score Helton two errors on the play. They are loaded in the eighth. Greg Norton warming up at the on-deck circle. Dodgers bring in a right-handed pitcher, Paul Quantrill. Norton had been warming up right-handed, but to face the writer, he hits left-handed. And Quantrill walks him. Rockies win 7-6. They will hit the all-star break with a winning, winning record for just the third time ever. Kevin Brown back on the DL. He was placed on the 15-day disabled list on Friday with a lower abdominal strain suffered in the loss to the San Diego Padres on July the 3rd. So Wilson Alvarez will take Brown's scheduled start Sunday at Colorado. Twins? No, Royals in Texas. All right, Steve. You All right, do that. this is really good high. You got like right. R.A. Dickey, first start in the major leagues. It, well, it didn't go all that well. Top three, Rolabana has a two-run shot. Is 12. Watch this guy, though. Misplays the ball, kicks it, and a guy in a Hawaiian leg comes away with a baseball. It's Neil Everett. Isn't that a commercial? I'm not sure what time it is there. Four nothing Royals. Bottom six, Rafael Palmero into right. Carlos Fabless. Where is he? He's playing second base. Look at this, way out there in right field to Rob Palmero. What a play. A Rossi shift. 4-3 Royals in the eighth. Carlos Beltran came in in a two for 27 slump. A two run shot is 12th. Part of an eight run Kansas City eighth. And the Royals win 13-3. Beltran's first home run since June 7th. You're right, that was a good highlight. It was okay. Okay, now I'll show you the Twins and Angels. Ramon Ortiz and the Angels facing these Twins. Let's flash back. Of course, last year, you remember, these teams battled in the ALCS and the Angels won in five games en route to winning the World Series. So as we continue to look back, last season entering July 11th, the Angels three games out of first, Twins seven and a half ahead. This season, Angels nine and a half games back, the Twins four and a half games back. A little different, Chris Gomez. Oh, wow, off our teams, Adam Kennedy charging, making great play, gets Gomez. Steve, you want to see this thing again? I know it's not the commercial, the commercial? but you know, this is just a great play. Underhand toss to get Gomez. No score in the fourth, one out, Tim Salmon. Salmon gets the bat under this, Bobby Kilty. Oh, Kilty. 
Great catch, making up for going hitless in this one. Watch again, live speed. The dive, and keeps in his glove. Troy Gloss. Luis Rivas, what's his problem? Well, he forgot to put in his contact lenses because he can't see it. Kilty comes charging in, he can't make it. Garrett Anderson would score. Gloss, he ends up at second save. Ron Gardenhire, he's had better nights. one nothing Angels. Top of the fifth save, score one on, nobody out. Gomez, up the middle. Hey, there's Kennedy, turning the 4-3 double play. Hey, Steve, you want more Kennedy? Do you want more Kennedy, I, I ask you? I would uh, like more Kennedy, yeah, please. All right, thank you. 3 nothing Angels and A.J. Pierzynski, Kennedy. We got more Kennedy. Angel great, uh, great vigor on that play. All right, enough for the imitation. Right. Angels win. Twins have lost 10 of 11. Tim Hudson facing the Orioles, and here's how Hudson stacks up against his fellow A's aces, Barry Zito. He's an all-star. Mark Mulder, he's an all-star. Tim Hudson, not an all-star, but his numbers are comparable to his other two rotation mates. And Hudson looked like an all-star on Friday night. Gets Jeff Kona, gets David Segui, and then finally Davey Cruz. Hudson retired 18 straight at one point. A complete game three hitter. He struck out nine. Two outs in the seventh. Rodrigo Lopez plunks Ramon Hernandez. Take your base. Still scoreless at this point. Terrence Long. Down the left field line. And they are going to wave Hernandez all the way from first base. We are going to have a play at the plate, but it gets by Geronimo Heel. Just for good measure, Hernandez plows him. Oh. Let's take it. You want to see this one again? I do. Was that necessary? I'm not by quite the way? sure it was, Frank. Okay. Two runs come in. Tim Hudson's first complete game of the season, the fifth of his career. On that play, the A's win 2 0. Season, Pinella showing appreciation to the crowd. He also got a plaque from the Mariners. I thank you all for the bottom of my heart. God truly blessed me. I love you all and will never forget you. Very sincere stuff. Top of the third. D raise up 2 0 for Lou. Jamie Moyer. The delivery to Aubrey Huff. Huff puts the D rays up 3 0. Huff 17th of the year. Same score in the third. Two on. Brett Boone. It's all about the Booney backflip. All the backflip. Yep. Ties the game at three. Boone's 100th homer as a Mariner. Same score in the eighth. Speaking of guys who know how to hit home runs, Mike Cameron. Who remembers Mike Cameron? He's 13th of the year. Put the M's up four to three. And Lou Pinella doesn't like what he sees. Uh, maybe he knew it was coming. Top of the ninth, same score, two out. Shigatoshi Hasegawa get Al Martin to ground out, final out. Pinella will lead with a disappointing 4-3 loss, but after he tried to look at the bright side of things. It was uh, well worth coming here for. Yeah, it really was. Would have liked to have won the ball game, but uh, it was uh, a night I'll remember forever. You know, if you want to compare Pinella's return to Seattle to some other notable former Mariners, Randy Johnson felt right at home in 99, pitching a complete game shutout as a D-back. A-Rod, he went with uh, much fanfare, but didn't do much at the plate, going one for five. And Lou Pinella, of course, his D-Rays take the defeat. Aaron Hallman looking for his first win facing Jim Tomey. Hit and run on, but Tomey strikes out. Jimmy Rollins makes it to second. Mets that close to getting a third out. That close. Two outs now. Next batter, Bobby Abreu. Yep, next batter, Bobby Abreu, she said. Two for three, two RBI. He's hitting 280 with that double. Next batter, Mike Lieberthal. He picks his spots. He went two for five. Lieberthal had three RBI. And then Pat Burl. Leave it to the Mets to help Burl break out of a slump. A two-run home run, number 12 for Burl. Rollins, Abreu, Lieberthal, Burl. All would score in the first with two out. Heilman, a forgettable first. Wolf gets his 10th win. No word if he found his girl. Phillies win their fourth in a row. Braves and Cubs back at it at Wrigley. Bottom second, Mark Dresselonic. And watch this play very carefully. That's right. Mark Pryor over there on first. Dresselonic towards second. And Pryor levels Marcus Giles. Oh, no. They are down like sausages. <laughs> Surrounded by trainers and teammates. Pryor runs right over Giles. Pryor grabs his pitching shoulder. Talk about a scary moment. Pryor's left knee hit Giles flush in the face. That toppled Pryor, who fell onto his right shoulder. Again, that's his pitching shoulder. And here it is, full speed. 
looks like Scott Stevens out there in the Stanley Cup Finals. And Paul Correa. Ruled interference on Pryor. Giles left with a mild concussion. His replacement, Mark DeRosa, rung up by Pryor in the third. Top five, Andrew Jones, a two-run shot, is 23rd. On to Waveland, and watch the fan out there. This guy's hanging around on the street. Gets hey, you have to throw that back. I don't care. You have to throw it back. That's right. It's throw. Off. Look at that throw. Sign him up. Back over the stands. Nice job. Pryor would face one more batter and leave with that shoulder stiffening up. Mike Hampton facing Sammy. His 16th, 6-2 Atlanta. Hampton allowed five runs on 11 hits in seven and a third. Bottom seven, Sosa again. His 17th. He was four for four. Two singles, two homers. It's 6-3. Braves, top eight. Mike Remlinger to Hampton to right. And Sammy's going into that wall. Hampton a triple. 9-5. Braves win. They've won eight in a row. Cubs struggling. They've lost 15 of 22. Marlins have lost four or seven games to the Expos this season. Don Trell Willis. Good news about him in a bit. Bottom of the fourth. Brad Wilkerson facing Brad Penny. Two on one out. Terry Crofts is Penny. Hit Wilkerson with that pitch. Even Wilkerson looks surprised. Penny, he's angry. Wilkerson gets to take the chase. We need another look on this one. I mean, we really do. Looks like the ball just misses hitting him in the elbow. But so much for replays. Umpires don't use them in baseball. Base is loaded. Next batter, Will Cordero with the bags full. Cordero, no doubt. His fourth career grand slam. Oh, you can imagine how uh, Mr. Penny feels now. It's 4 2. Can you imagine that, Steve? I'm, I'm imagining. All right, top of the six, same score. Mike Lowell facing Javier Vasquez. As for Lowell, things are looking up. His 27th home run of the year. It is now 4-3. Top of the ninth, same score. Todd Hollinsworth, your pinch hitter. And he's good in a pinch. Tie game. Derek Lee also went deep in this game. Still in the ninth, Juan Encarnacion up with a base hit. Luis Castillo would score. Marlins finding ways to win. Kenny allowed five hits in eight innings. He ends up winning his eighth. And how about the Marlins coming back to stun the Expos? Five to four. Dusty Baker, now you have no choice. Dontrell Willis has been named to the NL All-Star team as an injury replacement for Dodger vet Kevin Brown. The electric rookie lefty from the Marlins, 8-1 with a 1.98 ERA. Any questions? Well, speaking of the Marlins, they picked up closer Ubi Urbina from Texas for three minor league prospects. Urbina is the AL leader in saves with 26. Derek Jeter returning to Sky Dome. Let's flashback. Opening day, who could forget? Jeter can't. Colliding with Ken Huckabee. Jeter dislocates his shoulder on the slide. There was controversy. Huckabee is in the minors at the moment. Bernie Williams, he's in the majors. Two for five. Through the hole on the hit and run. Jeter makes it to third. Jeter would score on a Matsui double. Matsui had two hits. Jeter up the middle. Two runs would score. Derek Jeter, two for four. Two RBIs. He scored two. Wasden, an inning. Eight hits allowed. Five earned runs. His ERA, 45. Other than that, it was a great night. 5-2 Yanks, Vernon Wells on second, Carlos Delgado. Major League leading 95th RBI, he's hitting 313, went two for four, Wells scores. It's 5-3 Yankees, though. Andy Pettit working on his sixth straight win, by the way. 7-5 Yankees and Jason Giambi helping him get it. 24th home run of the year, Giambi was two for five, he had two RBI. Mariano Rivera pitched two innings of relief with a sprained ankle. The Yankees win. After sweeping three in Toronto, Red Sox looking to continue their role in Detroit against Mike Moroth, who's not exactly on a roll for the Tigers, but not bad lately. Last three starts, two and one, 3.32. Actually pitched pretty well all year long, just doesn't get any luck. Top one, Todd Walker, they're six for 44 slump. Not anymore. So right, and they are going to wave Gabe Kapler all the way around and watch Kapler. Motoring! 1-0 Red Sox, he runs right through Mike Kubich's stop sign, maybe looking for Wendell Sendeman Kim. Hold up. No, go ahead. Ah, uh, what the heck. He's watchable, I'll tell you. Oh, he hustles. They love him in Boston. Top two, second, and third. It's Noma Garcia Pyra. Ends an 0 for 12 skid, takes Moroth the other way. Freddie Sanchez and Walker come in 4 0. Moroth tagged for four runs on 10 hits in five and two thirds. So he and teammate Jeremy Bonderman, he majors only 13 game losers. Top seven now, it's 4 3 Boston. Jason Veritek. Oh. 
off Chris Sperling and off the foul pole. The 16th, 5-3 Red Sox. What a year for that guy. Bottom nine, BK Kim lights out. His third save in three nights. Red Sox win 5-3. They have won four in a row. Starter Danny Wright looking for his first victory of the season. 2 0 in Chicago. Ben Broussard, who's been hitting a ton since he painted his shoes silver. Don't ask. Number seven for Broussard, 2 1 White Sox. Bottom three, we're tied at 2 2 on. Wright intentionally walks Jody Garrett to pitch to Casey Blake. Okay, bag's full. Garrett's hit streak ends at 12, by the way, but that strategy backfired when Wright unintentionally walked Blake. Matt Lawton scored to make a 3 2 try. Bottom seven, 8 5 Indians, one on for Broussard. Putting on a show for his grandfather and uncle who were in the crowd. Wow, Broussard, four for four, career high, five RBIs must be. Major League Baseball, however, is not. And Friday suspended the Pirates' first baseman three games and fined him $2,000. Simon chose not to appeal, but Pittsburgh manager Lloyd McClendon is not happy about Simon's suspension, saying, I guess baseball thinks they need to make a statement to show they care. Tim Kirchin, your thoughts. Pirates opening a weekend visit in Houston Friday. Jeff Bagwell and the Astros looking for their ninth straight win against the Bucks at Minute Maid Park. Bottom one, Bagwell goes yard off. Jeff D'Amico with 16th, and it's 1-0 Houston. Career home run number 396, four more for 400. 1-1 one, one in the fifth. Kenny Lofton loses his bat and almost takes Wade Miller's head off. The bat goes all the way out to second base. Watch the reaction by Miller here. Heads up. Oh. He pitched well, allowed only one run on four hits and six. Everybody's cool, no problems. Next pitch, Lofton. To right, Richard Hidalgo, and look at this, a great throw to nail Lofton, who tries to stretch it into two. Nice play. Bottom five, Craig Biggio. To center field. Adam Everett scores. This off to Miko, who allowed four runs on nine hits and six and two third. Houston has won five in a row. They take this one 4 2. Padres Cardinals. Woody Williams trying to end the Cardinals four game losing skid. Top of the first. Williams. Oh, Mark Cotze struck out. Top of the fifth, one nothing cards. Dave Hansen in the box. Hansen contact. Orlando Palmero. I'll tell you, yoga three times a week really paying off for Orlando. Williams perfect through five. Still one up in St. Louis. Gary Bennett, 2 2 count. Now the home plate umpire Mike Victor calls the close pitch ball three. 3 2 count, and then, uh oh, Bennett walks. Williams loses the perfect game. Not thrilled. Two batters later down, two out. Mark Kotze. Having an uplifting experience. His fourth home run of the year. Williams uh, loses the no hitter and the shutout on that swing. Padres up two to one now. Bottom seven. Now tied at two. Runner on third for Bo Hart. Two out. Hart. Two for three in RBI. Hart throb is hitting 381. Cardinals up three to two. Top of the ace seam score. Bags full for Mark Loretta. Oh, that's shallow with two outs. Who's going to get it? J.D. Drew Gutton under it. Williams, eight innings, two hits, two and runs, two strikeouts. Bottom eight. Card still up by one. Jim Edmonds, all-star. Number 28 on the year. He's hitting 304. Edgar Renteria with three for three in this game. He's hitting 336. Cardinals win. Reds in Milwaukee. Ryan Dempster on the mound. Cincinnati starters have struggled since going to their four-man rotation. Really struggled. 0-7, 9.23 ERA, averaging only 4.8 innings per start. How about a nine-man rotation? Stretch it out. Bottom four, Dempster in a jam. Bases loaded, nobody out. And he gets Wes Helms. Next batter, Keith Osick to third. Aaron Boone tags the bag, throws to first, and Dempster gets out of it. Scoreless through four. Dempster allowed only one earned run on eight hits in seven. Top six, Junior. He has homered four games in a row now. His 12th of the year career home run number 480. Reds win 6-1. Cincinnati finally snapping that eight-game losing streak.